for crews working to put out a fire on a yacht in the waters just off Fort Lauderdale. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is at the scene right now and joins us live with the very latest on that. Terrell. Well, firefighters were able to safely extinguish the flames that broke out on this large yacht that you see behind me. As you can imagine, that vessel has sustained some pretty serious damage. Let's show you some video that we shot earlier this afternoon. This was a two alarm fire, which means dozens of first responders were called in for this one by ground and by boat. Those crews were met with thick flames and smoke because the source of that fire was apparently inside of that yacht near the bow of the vessel. Sky 10 was also high over the scene. This is a 110 foot long vessel we are talking about docked on the water off of Marina Mile Boulevard in I-95. It took some serious work to get these flames under control. Now a number of people were on the boat at the time renovating it and at some point that's when the flames ignited. Here is what one of those workers who tried to extinguish the flames told me just a little while ago. I get all the fire extinguishers and everything else inside to so try to hold it about 20 fire extinguishers time empty down in there we couldn't couldn't stop the fire because the fire was like probably another boat boat six feet behind so, so many workers on that boat, but there was little that they could do until these firefighters arrived. You can see Fireboat 49 from Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue still on the scene. We're told investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what caused this vessel to ignite. No serious injuries to report, although we do know that at least one person who was on the boat at the time uh, that these uh, smoke and flames ignited, uh, they were treated for smoke inhalation. But again, no serious injuries to report for the people that were on the vessel and also the firefighters who were left to put out the flames here. We are live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.